Welcome to 3117 High Street. This is a side-by-side -side duplex um, that we'll be looking at today that has just received a little bit of a makeover and there is a ton of space inside. This property is located off of 31st and High. You do have a few convenience stores within walking distance um, and just at the end of the block down there there is a park that you can access from the front or the back, which is lovely. The grass pretty much stays green all year long here. There is a lawn service that comes. Um, the yard is shared between 3115 side here and 3117, but certainly you could carve out a little area of your own here to enjoy the front green grass area. So this is the entrance up to 3117. So you have a little bit of a deck, maybe you can fit one chair. And then back here, you have your alley where your trash will be. Um, there is two parking spaces right here. This car will move. They're just using up the parking lot because our site is vacant, but you have this car and next to it to park for this unit. And then the other side will has two spots as well. This is also the back deck of 3117. So you have a little back deck area as well. I love looking at the neighbor. They have such a cheery color of paint. And typically they have their lights set up out back. So it looks so beautiful at night over there. I can see those lights still. All right, let's head on in. So we have gotten rid of all the carpet in here. Woohoo! We have put in some nice planking throughout here, which makes it look a little bit larger. I love it so much. A fresh coat of paint. This front room here has large windows that let in a good amount of natural light. There are curtain rods here for you now. Um, we will not be putting blinds, so you'll need to be prepared to bring some curtains. You do have a nice um, security door there, so you can keep that locked and have some airflow coming in and keep your door open. Into the kitchen. The kitchen was newly remodeled, I think about two years ago. Um, we gutted the old cabinets and put in some new ones. You have a good amount of countertop space here. You have a dishwasher, refrigerator, stove, microwave. There is a good amount of cabinet space here for all of your kitchen gadgets. And then you have this little room over here. You could make it your dining room to put a little table and chairs to eat. I think a two seater. I guess if you close this, this is another door you can leave open to have some fresh air and sunlight. But if you close this, you can see you have enough room for a table of four in here. And then you have a nice pantry back here, which is great for all of your food storage. See if I can get you a little better view. Okay. So you have this room off the kitchen that you could use potentially as dining. Otherwise, I would bet you'd have to put a table out here in this area. But now that we've eliminated the carpet, I think you have options for a little table out here and a little family room area set up. Okay. So you can hear that swamp cooler cranking. There is a swamp cooler here that gets turned on and turned off um, for the season and it is nice and cool in here right now. Cool moist air which is so nice here in dry Colorado. Here is your linen closet or a coat closet. Sorry about that. So coat closet right here. The bathroom. You have enough room I think right here to set up some sort of shelving if you want. And into the shower tub. And then your linen closet would be in the bathroom, I think. Or just for bathroom supplies. Fresh paint, it's a little sticky. <laughs> okay, into one of the two bedrooms on this main level here. New carpet, just so beautiful. 
big windows, some nice new light fixtures. Let's look at this closet. So standard, standard size closet, not bad. All right, this room is bigger than the other room over there, definitely. I would consider this the master. Another large window in here. And same size closet as the other room. Okay, now we will take a walk downstairs. Carpeted stairs for safety. Got a nice railing here. Also on the lower part here, flooring in the main uh, family room area, I guess you'd call it here. So there are egress windows down here. So these are true bedrooms down here that I'll show you in a second. This would be just a second family room or hangout area down here. If you need some privacy, you know, upstairs, between upstairs and downstairs, um, you have that here. There's a nice separation of space. Okay, so this is not a true, bed true bedroom, but only because there's no closet. It does have the egress windows, so safety-wise, if anything were to go down, you could always get out but you would need to create some sort of little closet space in here. Okay. Laundry is downstairs. This does come with a washer dryer. You have your hot water heater here and your uh, gas forced air furnace. You would be responsible to change out the furnace filter down there quarterly to help maintain the life of this furnace. Okay, a little under the stairs nook. You could probably come up with something creative for that. And then your downstairs bathroom. We just redid the shower surround with some beautiful gray tile. It looks so lovely. Okay, good amount of space in here. I think there's enough room here for some sort of shelving unit if you'd like. Okay, and then the other two bedrooms. Again, we do have egress windows throughout and this is a true bedroom because there is a closet there. This bedroom is darker. Um, you will need a lamp for this bedroom, but I bet that there is an outlet that will connect to your lamp. So you can still use the switch to turn it on and off, but no ceiling mounted light. And you do have your closet there too. So this is a four bedroom plus one non-conforming for a total of five rooms and two bathrooms. Okay, I'll walk you back up the stairs. Just one more view this way. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. Thanks for watching.